And now, another exciting episode of As the River Churns. Fun of that, oh. that intro. Oh, I wasn't making fun. I'm sure he wasn't. I he was. Be... He was doing it in jest, wasn't he? But he did steal my chair today. I can't. You know, this chair is actually the unfunny chair. <laughs> So when they said that Lisa was not funny, yeah. it's because she sits in this chair. Right. It must be the chair thing. So this is the funny out. chair right here. See, so sir, Lisa must be funny today. I might today. be funny today. Well, I think you will be. I just got that sense that I you're going to be know, funny today. I the material, Tom, there's not a lot of funny. <laughs> so I'm always given the unfunny stuff. Yeah, I, I don't should know I why that to is. Ken today? You should. He should be doing Well, he said he's not going to be the funny stuff today. So Yeah, I can't. I can't. Nothing I say will be funny today at oh, all. He's serious today. Oh my gosh. I guess I'm going to have to be the funny one and carry for the whole team here then if that's the case. Okay. Yep. <laughs> that would not be good. I need one of the two of you at least to be funny with me, okay? Keep, keep your remote control in hand just in case. See, he's already pulling oh. it out. He's funny. It's See? not the chair. <laughs> I guess it's me. It's probably the electrical shock that we got built into that chair. That's probably the well, reason why it's, be. you know. You just, you just fly under the radar with your speed, because you're quick as Cindy Hawks. Your speed <laughs> and your humor. <laughs> Mine's a little more subtle. It is. Is that what it, you're it is? It is. It goes by in a blur. So, so fast. how is she like Homer? <laughs> <laughs> There's no comparison, Tom. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Well, we won't go there anyway. No. Okay. All right. Well, well, welcome. Happy Monday, everybody. It's yes. a it's a little unusual to be here on a Monday. It is, I think this is, is only like the second time we've actually had a it Monday is the show. Second time, yes. Yeah, from way back when. <laughs> and you know, today's the last day of August. Can I know, you believe it? I know. Tomorrow is September one, and you know, tomorrow being September one, we really are hitting that six month mark of mm -hmm. when we really started into yeah. this. So it's hard to believe. No, that's true. Okay. Uh, well, we know who our guest is today do. already. I don't have yes. to. Think, I think yes. he needs no introduction. He's. A... Nope. It's unfunny Ken today. So. <laughs> yes. You know what's is. funny is that he probably says he's going to be not funny. I know. It'll be he'll the be funniest funny day. Than ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just how it happens. completely serious. I'm business all the way. Today. Okay. okay, all business yep. today. But you all don't right. have the collar on today. I don't. I mean, I know when you're serious. When yes. You have the collar on. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But. Yeah. That's right. Well, he's got a collar on. You have a different just, kind of collar. It's not the collar <laughs> that you expect. That's right. All right, how about a trivia question today? Okay, this one is from John Boyd <coughs> from many months ago, John. So I pulled this one out of the archives. Uh -oh. Yep. And the prize Thank today you, is a choice of a custom-made mask by Kathy Hoyt Ooh. out of artwork from Kristen Lottie. Um, you all may know Kristen. She's done handkerchiefs in the gift shop for us with her artwork. Oh, that's pretty. So Kathy's taken that material and made them into custom nice, masks. Nice, nice. Wow. And you have a choice. You get to pick from one of the three, the winner today. Okay, one of the three. Yes. So they're yes. pretty cool. Yes. Um, and that's Scott Lottie's daughter. So cool. I think a lot of you probably know her. I know Kristen. Do you? She's delightful, yes. Very good. Thank I have you. a Kristen, too. Oh, show them again. Show them yeah. again. Yeah. Show them again, Ken. I thought the camera operator had plenty of time, but, but he's a little slow. <laughs> it's slow Brian right now. Yeah. It's slow he's, Monday. He's in the slow <laughs> chair, not the quick chair. There today. they are, right there. <laughs> Thank you for not uh, wearing them and demonstrating them for right. us. Right. We want to keep them in the baggies yeah. so they're, they're, yeah, they're kept, fresh and clean. No, these are going to be virgin clean. masks. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how we're going to go here. So. <laughs> Okay, it's definitely not the chair. Okay. Um, okay, the question today, but before we get into the question. Yes, before we, we get into it. We need to throw out the telephone number. Yes, we do, because it's okay. changed. It's changed. Yes. We like to mess with you a little bit. We do. It's not keep Brian him, today. Keep him guessing. Michelle is back. Yes. So. Okay, and Brian is clapping. Yes. So everybody else we're, is clapping. We're all, we're all happy to have Michelle back. <laughs> we, we are. We missed her we last week. We missed her week. last week. Yes, so we're happy to have her back today. Is that that five 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 one two one two? Is that her number? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. okay. And that wasn't funny. <laughs> so, the real phone number is three three six three eight nine four one zero three. Three three six three eight nine four one zero three. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Where has the hottest temperature on Earth been recorded? 
Where has, Where the, has hottest the hottest temperature, temperature on Earth, Earth been, recorded? been recorded? So it's the highest registered air temperature on Earth. Wow. Okay. I, think it was, right. I think it was this time my wife got really mad at me. <laughs> man, man, it was hot in there. <laughs> I could see how that could happen yeah. to you, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. You were trying to be funny, probably. <laughs> yes. Oh, that Michelle's already going oh, out of the room. Michelle's running out we, of the room. We, we have it. We and remember, have it. don't leave a message with the answer. We're only taking live callers. Live at, calls. Yep, yes. Just live calls. Okay? No Memorex. That's right. No. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Good. You know, before I get into the statistics, yes. I need to share a little story. So I had, a, I had an interesting thing happen on Saturday evening. Okay. Yes. So... Um, my son, my oldest son, Jeremiah, um, is at UNCG, and he's living in an apartment with a roommate mm -hmm. just, just off campus right there. And so um, his mother was teaching him how to do deep-battered fish. Ooh. And so he was very excited Saturday night. He was going to be able to, they had, him and his roommate had gone to Costco, and they bought all this fish, this cod, wow. and he was going to do this big fish fry for, for just the two of them. Is that where you take a club and batter them? Really? I think so. I think that's, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. But anyway, so everything was going good. He was heating up the oil, and he had the lid on the pot. And he wasn't watching it as well as he should have been. And so um, he had it up on high. Mm. And as soon as he lifted the lid to start putting mm. stuff in it, oh, it, boy. it went on fire. And so... Um, he quickly got the oven mitts. They were looking for a fire extinguisher. They moved sure. it over a burner, and that didn't seem to help. The fire was still going, so they did what any other college student would do. What's that? They went over to the balcony and threw it off the balcony. <laughs> so the whole pot went off the balcony onto the grass, and then all the mulch that was there went <laughs> up in fire, right? They did so say, look out below. They first. Fortunately, they didn't hit anybody below. That's the amazing thing, right? They are fortunate. And so they had to call the fire brigade, as they said. The f I always thought it was the fire department, but they called the fire brigade there, apparently, and the fire brigade had to come. And, wow. And they were very fortunate, in a yeah. way. My son did get burned. Um, really? It burned right through the oven mitt that he was, Ooh. when he went to throw it out. Wow. And he's got a nice second-degree burn on his thumb. Oh, wow. And so I ended up in the emergency room one Saturday night. It was so much fun. Oh I really, goodness. I have to admit, wow. that was a lot of... They should get extra credit for not throwing water on the fire. Well, however. yes. That's true. That was good thing. Well, he, could have been, they had the wherewithal, my son had the wherewithal, after he threw it onto the, onto the ground and it got a chance to catch everything on fire, he went down with a Brita water filter and he actually poured the water on it and got the fire <laughs> to go out. So, you know, so, you know, hey, you know, disaster averted, I guess. Yes. And, Absolutely. Um, Ooh, yeah, that could it was, have been bad. It was very interesting. Yeah. I um, guess the fish was overcooked. <laughs> he never got the fish in there. That was just the oil, right? Just, that was just the oil. The oil. Wow. <laughs> now, could you put baking soda or something like that on a to a, a fire, a grease fire? Isn't there something else well, that you can put on it? There's a special chemical that you're supposed to use from the fire extinguisher. Oh, but just put the cover back on it. Yes, that's what they should have done. It's just put the cover back on it, and it'd have been fine. But okay. they didn't think of that. I mean, well, these you are... get a little freaked out. When well, fire. sure. I mean, you know, they were afraid. So, they were really afraid they were going to burn down the entire I, building. So I, I get that. I, get I mean, that. so you can see how fires can happen just like that, though. That's yeah. It's pretty. But that's... they could have been the answer to today's trivia question. <laughs> 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 This temperature recorded on Earth it was my son's Jenny's apartment. apartment. <laughs> that oh. is not the answer. Okay. <laughs> but that would be an acceptable that, answer. It could have been. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I just felt the need to share that. I don't know why, but I did anyway. So anyway, like I said, <laughs> disaster was averted, and his his big blister that he has on his thumb has already popped, Ooh. and he's yeah. he's doing much better. So good. Good. You know, I think he's going to be fine. Okay, so it's been five days since we looked at the last statistics uh, from the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services. Um, in those five days, they have done, we have done 135,000 tests. Mm. So that's about 27,000 tests a day, which that's number that's gone way back up again. Because if you remember when the last show, it was, it was down pretty far. Mm -hmm. So 27,000 tests per day on average, 135,000 tests since last Wednesday when we were together. We've had 8,328 new positive cases. That's a percentage of about 6.2%, which also is lower than where we were last Thursday. I'm kind of happy about that. So, um, you know, maybe that number is starting to come back down a little bit as far as the 
percentage, and we need that number to come down. Right. Um, unfortunately, we've had a, a, an additional 96 deaths since, um, since last Wednesday. We're at 2,702 in the state. Um, just in case anybody was curious, we have done a total of 2,256,000 tests in the state, and 167,000 of those have been positive cases. Um, here's another really good statistic that I'm happy about. The hospitalization rate continues to drop. Good. So we were up over 1,000. Mm -hmm. Had been there for, quite, for at least several weeks. Mm -hmm. So um, the, today's statistic shows 923 in the hospital. So wow. um, that's a drop of 81 of, to what we were um, last week, on Wednesday last week. So, um, and then uh, the counties have gone up all pretty much in typical fashion that they normally have gone up. Mm -hmm. no, real surprises there. Um, and then in the congregate living section, um, between the nursing homes and the residential care facilities, we've had 12,019 positive cases, which is a percentage of 7.2% of the total. And we've been running 7.2% really for almost the last month or so. So it's pretty consistent. Uh, unfortunately, 1,320 of the deaths, of the total deaths, have come from nursing homes and residential care facilities. Um, that's 48.9%. So we're still continuing to see that be right around that 50% mark, just dropping a little bit here and there. And then the number of outbreaks uh, reduced by two since last week. So that's good. We're at 299. Um, so, um, you know, just a couple of things maybe to comment on. Um, we're going to be putting a letter out today. Unfortunately, we do have another staff member who we have found out has tested positive for COVID-19. Um, they are asymptomatic at this point, um, mm -hmm. but um, obviously for precautionary measures, they're not here since they're positive. Um, this particular person works over in our St. Andrews area. So we've been in contact with the, or it's our typical thing, we've been in contact with the Guilford County Health Department and our medical director and so um, we are going to be testing staff in the St. Andrews area just as a, because of contact um, tracing, we've decided that we're going to go ahead and, con um, and test our staff over there. Um, but a as of now, um, our medical director and, our, and the Guilford County Health Department have said that we do not have to test the residents over there at this point. Um, we're just going to monitor them and see if any of them show any kind of symptoms or signs of it at this point. So. Um, that letter will be going out today for residents. Um, it'll be in your boxes tonight, but um, that's the game plan for that. Um, the state has also just sent out more regulation in regards to testing here recently. Um, we had found out a couple weeks ago that we were going to be required to go to um, every other week testing for our nursing home staff. Um, that's now changed again. Um, so. Uh, now, believe it or not, it's the testing that you have to do is based upon the percentage of positive cases in your county. So depending on what county you operate out of, it will determine uh, how often you have to have the tests. So here in Guilford County, our rates um, around that 5 to 6 percent mark. So we're going to be going to weekly testing with our nursing home staff. Um, for other counties, like I, I will tell you, um, I, I've been told that our, our community <coughs> in Larnburg, Scotia Village, that county, which is Scotland County, I believe, um, has 11% um, positive rate. And so they're going to be doing testing twice a week for their staff there. So that's a lot of testing. I will tell you, it's a lot of testing. Um, we did... Um, before we found out about this change um, this week, we, last week we had just tested, done our, our first bi-weekly testing, and we had tested 76 staff members um, last week. And I'm, I'm happy to tell you that uh, none of the 76 were positive. We didn't have any positives last week. So, you know, we continue to have good success with that when we do the testing. Um, you know, we just know these we're going to have these onesies and twosies coming in because of family members. I mean, when you have 375 staff members, you're going to have staff that are going to come in every once in a while or, or be, let us know that they tested positive. Um, so anyway, um, you know, that's pretty much it from the coronavirus update. But I wanted to make sure everybody knew about um, the latest mm -hmm. situation. So. Okay.
All right. What um, else we got, Lisa? Well, we got a lot tomorrow, on our list today. We start with our family visitation. Yes. So that is for independent living only. So right. just want to clarify that. Right. We do have folks watching us in healthcare. Um, so that's where you can have a family member, one or two family members that yep. can come in. That's right. Um, you will want to direct them to the John Knox entrance and to come through the center lane. That's where our guard will come out. They'll give them the screening questions. I'll also temp check them. So you want to make sure they are coming through our main gate for that. And before they get here, you're going to want to make sure the gatehouse knows they're coming. So you will call the gatehouse number or send them an email. And it is okay to leave a message on, on the voicemail. Um, you could imagine there could be a lot of calls tomorrow. Sure. So um, it is, it's okay to leave a message there or send an email. Um, just giving us a heads up that who's coming in to see you. Um, and Lisa, we're asking for, if you can, if you can we'd love to have at least 24-hour notice. Would. We would. Yeah. yeah. So I know we had some people do that already yesterday, which was, yeah. which was great. Yeah. So, um, and our team's getting used to it and all those good things. This is new for the security team, you yeah. know, now that we're we had asking a, them to let people in. <laughs> we had one team member, I think, that had not gotten the message right. and right. didn't realize that this was we the new what? process. So, so that was good and bad. Right, um, right. So we, we've we let the resident know that we fixed that situation right. that was involved. Absolutely. In that. And I appreciate, we appreciate the resident letting us know. The staff member apparently did not know that. We were had started this exactly so, yep. yeah and just know it's all outside visits at this point so last week we talked a little bit about different locations here on campus um you know the pavilion's a great spot yeah. we have benches around our, our back pond area um you know if you live out in a home like you all have garages you know so you have great driveway areas that you could sit outside in um, so a lot of good options around Marsha's garden is another Marsha's one garden. Actually, the little spot. sitting area out in front of the library is also another area to take a Absolutely. sit in. What about right in front of the clubhouse? There are a couple of rocking chairs and a bench. I mean, if it were a small group, you could spread out. Sure, Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, anywhere yeah. outside is fine yep. like yep. that. Yeah, the only, thing we, the only reason we would question that a little bit is I don't want, we don't want residents going through the clubhouse to get to the back side on the balcony. Right, we, right. That would not right, be an appropriate right, right. place. Anything but, that you're not But in front through, of the, right. front, in front front. the clubhouse is yep. fine. Yep. Yeah. By the portico share area. That's yeah. the area we're talking about. And we had mentioned this last week, Lisa, but, you know, if somebody, uh, people are allowed to go off campus, obviously. Absolutely. So you could have your family member pick you up and take you right, to right. the little the ball field that's right down the road here. There's, perfect there's spot. plenty of picnic benches down there. It's there actually is. underneath, I think, if, I'm not, if I remember mm -hmm. right. It's a sheltered area. So, um, you know, and the, bathrooms. Yeah, and if the, so if, right the, there. if the weather's not great, that might be a good place to go, too. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Good spot for it. And of course, remember the three W's when you're with your visitors. Right. What, um, where, when, and how, right? Oh, no, that's not the three W's. No, that's, that's That is three W's, but not these three W's. <laughs> it so, stands for why we wascal we wabbit. <laughs> it's Elmer Fudd's three W's. That, you're right. <laughs> so wear your mask, wash, sanitize your hands, and stay in the six feet. Wait six feet. Yeah. So. Um, we had a resident um, send me an email, and she said, can you please encourage people to wear their name badges? Yes. So that's always a, a good suggestion. Yeah. Um, but I think maybe we've gotten a little less with that with the pandemic. Sure. Because maybe we don't use the badge as much. Yeah. Um, but if we can remember to wear our badges, that helps um, newer folks, older folks, be yeah. able to recognize people. Sometimes those masks disguise you a little bit. They do. So... So I, I get that. So thank you for that suggestion. And um, if we can help with that, that'd be super. Wear your, wear your name badges. You know, and Lisa, if you're, having, if you're having a shirt on that doesn't really lend itself to putting your badge on, you know, I know a lot of people have the lanyards. But, yes. but if yes. you don't, you can yeah. always put your mask on and attach your, your, your... Oh, yeah. Well, you could. If I get it off here, I can show you. You can attach it to the bottom of your mask if you wanted to. Now, that might be uncomfortable for you, but you can do this if you want you to. Could yeah. Do that. Yeah. Right? That, that works. <laughs> I, I saw one person earlier this morning, they actually had their name across their mask. Really? Now that's pretty creative. Did it say rental? No, it did not. <laughs> it their oh, name Bob, Bob Rental, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know him. Oh, so some people have gotten very creative, and I'm guessing that was a specialty mask they ordered. But Must be. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So. so like Homer needs one, don't you think so? Homer honey cakes. And we could put honey on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think he has one that says stay back. <laughs> Six feet. And he wears that all the time. Yes. Not yeah, even, even not without the mask. Before the pandemic. <laughs> It's so fun when he's not in the audience. Yeah, it is. We can really mess with him. We like that. <laughs> so. Okay, we have a new nurse practitioner in healthcare. We do. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Eileen um, left us about a month ago, I guess it was, maybe a little longer than that. And um, we were very sad to see her go. Yes. Um, she's been a great, great partner and friend to yeah. us and so but she had a great opportunity that came she her did way, so and we're we excited her for well. her yep, you know we'll absolutely. miss her and alicia has come in alicia glenn has come in and um she's going to be great too so yes. i yep. you know i think we've got some good some some great feet to fill in the shoes the big shoes that had yep. left us so absolutely. i think it's going to be good okay um the staff assistance fund mm -hmm. yep we need to update you all on that so uh, two, um, as of today, we've had uh, $23,650 generously donated by residents, uh, mostly to this fund, the Staff Assistance Fund, um, and we've distributed a little bit more than half of that, 12175 So we have helped out 20 staff members with this fund so far, and um, I will tell you, it's been a real blessing for our staff members who have had a um, had need of it. And yes. so, you know, just a little history here that was set up um, to help those staff members who were struggling because of COVID-19 reasons. Right. You know, maybe their spouse lost their job or, you know, maybe um, uh, they had a second job that the employee themselves had a second job and they couldn't do, they can't do the second job now because we're not allowing them to do the second job. Mm -hmm. um, so it's those kinds of reasons. And so... Um, it's been really great. Uh, I can tell you that the employees who, like I said, who have been um, taking part in this have really been very, very grateful for it. So. That's great. Okay. Um, let's see. Back in the fall, I think, is when we added some additional boosters on the lower level here and up a little bit on first floor to the main central <laughs> area, um, added some cell phone boosters, which has helped tremendously. Yes. Um, but we have seen that there's a need to go a little bit further in our main building here. It's harder in the main buildings. We don't have as much issue when you're outside of here, but it's, yeah. it's how we're structured up here in the main building. Well, it's, it's the concrete and steel to get through. And it's also the fact that we sit in the valley here as well. That right. Both right. of those really add difficulty when Absolutely. trying to get signal on right. our cell phones. Yeah. So. Um, so you'll see some folks out here that they'll be following um, good protocols, have masks on, all those good things, but they'll be adding some more cell phone boosters in our main building here. Right. So that's exciting, exciting to have that going on. We rely so much on our cell phones, so I get that we do. When you can't utilize it, it's, it's a challenge. And so we're going we're gonna to do the rest of the buildings on independent living side, and then I think the hope next year is once we figure out when we have a vaccine for COVID-19, right, right. we're hoping to get over to the healthcare center side because the reception over there is also not very good. Exactly. So yep. we want to try and fix that next year. Uh, well, it wouldn't be a show without mentioning Spectrum. <laughs> so I just have to go there. Um, some of you are still getting those bills that they'll say River Landing Wi-Fi on it, and it's generally around 130 some dollars. So if you're still getting those, do not pay those do bills. Do not pay them, um, please. Those, those are not for you all to pay. That's still cleaning up from the e-proach equipment and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. Um, I just had one more brought to me today, so that's why I thought better just throw it out there that obviously the bills are still coming because it was dated for just a week ago. So just be on the lookout for that. Do not pay those bills. Um, also, Spectrum has done an audit of their, of their billing accounts out here. Since we changed over la the end of last year, it's hard to think that. It's already, it was wow. November, October, yeah, November, December last year, um, when know, we changed contracts. Time flies when you're not having fun. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not, that's not the way that's saying <laughs> No, goes, but that's it? how it's going to be yes, right now. No, right. So um, if you kept your DVD, your DVR player, that's the one that records, you should have been receiving a bill for around $21 and some change each month. And that should have started last December. For some reason, some of you like flew below, below the radar. Uh oh. And we're getting free DVR freebies, freebies. for a couple months. Wow. Well, Spectrum has figured that out. Yeah. So you. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. So, you know? 
That darn so, spectrum. They figure you know, stuff out. You know, spectrum always catches up with they you. They do. And so they have done that. So some of you may now all of a sudden have a bill, and it is legitimate. So you, I want to make sure to inter reiterate that you do want to pay your legitimate bills. Right. You just don't want to pay the $130 bill. Right. So make sure if you have a bill for extras that you keep paying that. But some of you may actually see a bill now that you hadn't seen before. And if you have a DVR, you should have been getting that bill. Yeah. So I wouldn't say anything. I'd just pay it now and move forward. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I'd call Spectrum and say, why am I getting this bill? Right. We had one person do that. Oh. You don't yeah. want to do that. No. <laughs> Just take the bill now, Because they could forward, go back and bill you for all the... and move forward. They could go back and back, back bill uh -huh. you for all that, so... Yes, they can and they yeah. will. Yeah. So... You know, I've never seen a $21 bill. What does it look like? <laughs> 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 all mine are sort of rounded. Yeah, you know, I've got fives and tens and twenties. I've never got the you, odd. You don't tip. see the odd no, ones. No, no, that's, <laughs> well, that's so I'll, interesting. I'll print you up some so you can okay. see what they look like. <laughs> yeah. Spectrum have Tom must print them up. On yeah. it. <laughs> oh. So if you are getting a DVR, you should have been getting a bill. So just don't be surprised if now you're receiving it and you didn't before. But if you want to verify that with John or myself, feel free to call us just now, to make sure. Lisa, so. if they don't have a DVR and they're getting a bill for a DVR, now that's, that's a whole different. different that's a whole different ballgame, right? That's different. If you turned in your DVR when we back in December, you should not be getting a bill. So make sure you bring those to us for sure. Yeah. If you do not have a recording service, yes. you should not be paying that. Good point. Okay, the Wellness Center. Oh, Tom, yeah. I've had lots of emails. Yeah. It's a hot topic right now. How's our Wellness Center going? Yeah. It's almost as hot as our trivia question. I know. I almost. was going to say, how hot is it? <laughs> <laughs> Might it's be the answer. Yep. It's pretty hot. Yes, okay. it's very exciting. So, <laughs> so we're actually going to have Whitney on here on the show on Thursday. Yes. So we're going to share more on Thursday, but the Wellness Center, we're moving right along. Right. Getting some equipment this week. Working on some other things, so right. we're we're moving along. We're not quite there yet. No, but we're getting there. No, and on right. Thursday we're going to announce some things. Mm. And you know, in fashion that we've done, we slowly are going to open up some things. Right. But you need to stay tuned for Thursday for more information. Right. And I know some of you have gotten some emails from maybe you're a gym member to Planet Fitness. Maybe some of you have gotten emails that the gyms are opening tomorrow. Well, they are in, in some fashion, right. yep. some of the gyms outside of here. Right. Um, there's a medical kind of loophole, Yes. right, um, that some gyms have figured out. So there is some of that that you'll see, and we'll talk a little bit more about that on Thursday. Yeah. We're still looking into that. We are. We are. And See, quite honestly, that... all the equipment's being delivered early this week, like today and right. tomorrow. Right. And so Whitney and her team need to get educated on the equipment they anyway. They do. So, they do. And then... Yep. At some point, we'll have to have residents be checked out on the equipment. Right, so right. there's a lot of steps that have to be kind of go through here before we can get to a point. Even if we can find a loophole around this and get the gy that right. gym open, right. there's still a lot of things that have there to be is, done before there is. that. So with all brand new equipment, it, yeah. So there's we'll, a lot of training. So we'll talk about that more on Thursday yep. and give you a lot more information. But we're we are very close, close. to actually getting the building open, at least in some part right. or fashion here. Right. So. That's exciting. So that's a little teaser for Thursday. Yeah. Yes. Don't want to miss our show Thursday. No, you don't. Okay. We have some questions. Okay. I didn't he, know you should leave ready. in not, that seat. I'm, he's just getting ready. I'm just getting this. Okay, he's just getting okay. ready. Okay. Don't know, let him distract I you. I get is... up. When I'm in that seat, I never get up, Ken. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, okay. I felt the gravitation pulling me back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of the questions, and you've already addressed part of this, Tom. Okay. What is the difference between EAF, that's Employee Appreciation Fund, right. and Staff Assistance Fund? Because sometimes you'll also see the Staff Assistance Fund as Employee Assistance Fund. Right. So it gets you a little confused on that. Well, the EAF, the one that we love and know, right. that's run by our resident council. It is. And our current leader this year is... Uh, Lois Edwards. Right. So she runs the Employee Appreciation Fund. That's the wonderful fund that residents donate money throughout the year. Maybe it's every month they give a little bit, or maybe it's once a year they give a bigger amount. So it's however folks want to do that. And then that money is distributed to our staff at Christmas time. Typically, we have a staff 
Christmas party. We, yes, we do. Typically we do. Yeah. And after that party, residents come in and resident council is here up on the stage and they pass out checks. All of our employees come across the stage, um, get a check. Um, that's a resident, it's a Christmas gift from you it's a, all. It's absolutely good. And as they walk off the stage, typically Tom is over here on the side and he'll ask folks to share, yeah. share anything they'd like. Right. And it's just really a, a neat, neat event that we have here. And our employees are so appreciative of anything that they get. And, and last year we raised our biggest amount ever. I can't remember. Was it over 140000 It was over 140000 I mean, that, that's just amazing. I, I don't know how. Yeah, phenomenal. I just don't know how that can be done. Yeah. Um, so this year, Lois Edwards is chair of that. Yes. So she's going to be the Thank one. Thank you, Lois. Yes. And I think she's already put out some information about it. But that's the EAF. Right. So that's, that's that one. And although they've been collecting funds for that all year long, that, the drive for that really kind of gets really rocking in that like soon. Or like yeah. early October time frame right. until right, right at the end of November. I think that's about a two-month window there that it seems like yep. the words are really pushing. concentrated effort. And you'll so. see thermometers out and yes. things like that kind that's of tracking, right. tracking where we're at. That's right. Uh, but I think Lois has put some things in the Encompass and yeah, she's done a great current, job. So yeah. She's already been trying to educate on that, but that's what the EAF is. That really helps me. I, I, I've it? always thought it was the exotic animal fund, <laughs> and so this is really helpful. Thank so you. So now you know. <laughs> yes. Now you know. Yes, it's not the exotic animal it's fund, not. but I can see why you had gotten confused with that, Ken. So. <laughs> um, and then the staff assistance fund. That's the fund you were talking about, Tom. Right. That was developed during COVID times. That's right. So that's to help out folks related to, to COVID needs. Right. Okay. Will there be landscaping done around the new wellness building? Absolutely not. We are not <laughs> doing any landscaping around the wellness. What you see is what you get, right? That's right. No, that's not true. I thought, I thought that's where the exotic animals were going. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, it looks like it's, in some areas over there, it looks like we could have exotic animals. We could. So um, I'll be honest, I don't know if they showed up today, but the landscapers are actually, we're supposed to come week. today. But it's, right. if not today, they're going to be coming this week, right. and they're going to be working on that whole area. We've got a, a very pretty plan mm -hmm. that we're going to have. can't wait to see it. That's not actually going to be just around the wellness center itself, the building itself. It's actually going to be encompassing a lot of that back area there where the cooling tower is and where Glen Eagles is mm -hmm. and where the uh, Muirfield is, the back of Muirfield. And so it's going to be really well done mm -hmm. when, it's, when it's done. So look for changes this week. Right. Okay. And last question. Why is there a limit of how many people can be in the bistro serving area? So that was a good question. Yeah. Um, we've always had a limit in that area, so that's why you'll see there's typically a staff member that's right there as the door. You come in, you'll get your temperature check, then you kind of go around the, the circle or the yeah. obligon, ob, ob. Semicircle? Semi? No, I don't, what's oval? No, what's well, kind of an oval? An oblong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling here. It's a chair. This is where Ken sits. It's an extended so, view. <laughs> So what Whatever go, it is. is, you go around that, you come up to the other door as you actually enter into the serving area. Yes. There's typically a staff member too, and, and they're kind of monitoring the flow within the bistro serving area. Right. We really have to be careful with how many folks are in there. Trying to maintain that six foot distance is not a huge area. Right. Um, so we do try to maintain about six people in line, and then we can have some overflow folks over by where our salad bar used to be. Um, so that is why we try to maintain that, is we're just trying to do the best we can to keep safe distances. Um, I know it seems a little crazy sometimes, but we just are trying to maintain that the best we can. Yeah. So thank you for asking that. Whew. Whew. I'm worn out already. That, that, that uh, funny chair is really tough, isn't it? <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> Especially when you don't have funny material. Yeah. It's the material, it's not Wait a me. minute, you did. Spectrum. You said spectrum. That's funny well, that's material, true. isn't it? I just funny. didn't laugh after it. Yeah, I know. Like you told me to. <laughs> uh, I just, I'm not learning here. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. And you know, um, speaking of spectrum, it's probably good to point out, you know, I, I know that we have had issues with spectrum. I mean, we, we know any time that we're entering in agreements with spectrum, there's just going to be issues. And quite honestly, it could be anybody Any that we can come company. into contract with. When yes. you have this large of an account, you're going to have issues. That's just not 
I don't think that's just a spectrum thing. Um, but the reality is um, we cannot, we would not be able to find anywhere else, anybody else that can do what Spectrum does for us at the price they do it for. There is nobody else out there. I promise you we have looked and looked and looked and there's nobody else that can do what Spectrum can do for us at the price they do it. So we're locked into a long-term agreement with them so that we can keep our pricing down. And so, you know, whether you like Spectrum or don't like Spectrum, Guess what? We're stuck with Spectrum. We're going to make the best of this. We're going to make it work. You know, we've come a long way since where we were last year at this time. Because when we started switching yes. things over, yes. it was a it was a nightmare. It Let's just face it. Yeah. Um, we've come a long way, I think, since then. So um, I, I'm hoping it's just going to continue to get better and better, and just kind of right. keep evening things out here. Right. So. Right. Yeah, we considered for a while like launching our own satellite, didn't we? And we did. We a big dish yes. on top. And but you know what? Then Russia pulled out on us, and that's where we were going <laughs> to yeah. we have Russia do it for us. And, yeah, you know. you just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, Lisa. From the ridiculous to the sublime. Yes. So okay, we're up to Ken. We're up to Ken. We're up to yeah. Ken. Okay. The highlight of the show. That's right. Well, you, you know, some of, the, some of the most interesting messages you can find these days come on church signs. Wreck one time driving by one and <laughs> paying too much attention to the sign. Right. And sure. Jesus even warned us about that. He said it's a wicked and perverse generation that demands a sign. <laughs> So that's what I've got today. I've got signs. Okay. All, All right, right. So, Brian, here we go. Here we go. And our right. first one uh, says, Adam and Eve, the first people to not read the Apple terms and conditions. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Isn't that great? Let's love that. They wish they would have. Yes. Yeah. And I never do. I just check it, you know, and just move on. <laughs> this next one says, too hot to keep changing sign. Sin bad, Jesus good, details inside. <laughs> good <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah okay the next one says if you are praying for snow please stop and I, I don't know if you can see but but it's a very snowy I mean <laughs> several feet of snow there oh. that's the Knox Presbyterian Church <laughs> Wesley Chapel said be the kind of person your pet thinks you are. Oh. Now, that would be a very nice thing. Yeah. Well, what if you kick yeah. your pet and all that kind of stuff? You don't want to be that My person. dog thinks I'm wonderful. I mean, yeah. she's See? always waiting for me when I get oh, home. Yeah. And she licks my feet, oh. at, which proves that she has no taste buds. <laughs> Yeah. Good point. You know, I, there's so many places to go with that, and I think I'm just going to let that go. Okay. <laughs> it's a foot fetish. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I like this next one. Honk if you love Jesus. Text while driving if you want to meet him. <laughs> that's great. Oh. oh, I like that one. Wow. <laughs> wow. I think oh that's gosh. a that's a genuine warning there. I wow. think so. Yeah, was yeah. that a government sign or was that just No, that? this is a Church of God <laughs> sign. Yep. Wow. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here's the next one. Forgive your enemies. It messes with their heads. Mm. Yep. I'm not sure that's exactly what Jesus had in mind, but it probably does. It works. I it, think that works. It probably does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now this is again Knox Presbyterian Church, which tells me they got some crazy people that work there. <laughs> Cremation is your last chance for a smoking hot body. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just pandering to the public there. I, <laughs> I love it. Hey, let's go find out what kind of people go to that church. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. This one says... Tweet others as you would like to be tweeted. Oh, that's Aww. cute. Yeah, it's, oh, that's more Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tweet others as you would like them to be tweeted. Okay, here we go. Uh, now this one's out here on a church by a highway, and it says, Jesus is watching, but the police have radar. <laughs> They must know. Oh, I wonder yep. if that police car hides behind that big sign there. Maybe. I wonder. Okay. <laughs> this one says, having trouble sleeping? Try one of our sermons. <laughs> you know, I don't think that one's very funny, actually. I actually like that one. <laughs> what church was that from? This is uh, something Creek Baptist Church. They oh. <laughs> or just Creek Baptist Church. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's not River Landing. It's nothing no. River Landing. Try one of our sermons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, nodding off is a sign of trust. 
So yes. when people not off in church, it's, they're very trusting people. Absolutely. Okay. Ooh, yes. I'm going with that. Okay. That sounds good to me. <laughs> you stick with that. Yep. <laughs> okay, this is a, from Trinity Presbyterian Church. God shows no favoritism, but sign guy does. Go Canucks. <laughs> Okay, and then, and then my last one is not really a sign. Well, it is kind of a sign. It's a sign of um, what rednecks are capable of. Uh -oh. It's called, this, this next picture I'm going to show you is called a combo redneck grill and cooler. Oh, a geez. combo redneck grill and cooler. Oh, no. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got one of them in my house. Yeah, yeah, I got some friends in Texas that have a few of those. Well, that's it for the signs. All right. And now you know why it's a wicked and perverse generation. Yes. I think we can flush that one down. Yeah. I don't know. It's the wife of the potty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You okay. potty animal, you. <laughs> oh. I got to give it to you, Ken. You're what? the funny one. It's not uh, the chair. Oh, it's not the chair. I will take it. It's just me that is not funny. Those were so. great. That's, those are great. Uh. Pretty good. Pretty cool. Okay, Lisa, birthdays today. Okay, let's see. No resident birthdays today. None today. Okay. But Wednesday, yes. we're not back on the air till Thursday. So right. let's let's share Wednesdays. Okay. Betty Farlow. Okay. Dick yeah. Klotz and Sarah Hawes. Oh, great. Happy birthday. Happy yeah. birthday to all three. Happy early birthday. Yes. And then for staff, it's Joy Ward's birthday today. She's in dining. Okay. And Wednesday is Trevor Moss. Trevor Moss. Yes. Wow. Okay. So, yep, All good right. birthday's coming. That's a good deal. Okay. Okay, we do have a winner today. We have a winner today. We have a winner. We do. Okay. This hot and, hot and burning question. It, I hope none of the men uh, said it's my wife having a hot flash. <laughs> That's I what I hope. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think they said that. No. Good. No. Michelle, no, none of those type of answers? Okay, no. that's good. Okay. All right. So, where has the hottest temperature on Earth been recorded? So, the current official highest registered air temperature on Earth is 134.1 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded in Furnace <laughs> Creek Ranch, California. Uh, appropriately Ranch. named. Yes. Located in Death Valley Desert in the United States Death on Valley. July 10th, 1913. Wow. So Death that Valley. was, yeah. Yep. Wow. But it's a dry heat. Yeah. But that's what they say. <laughs> it probably only felt like 117, you know. <laughs> so the winner today was Jim Kalaki. Yay. Whoa. Congratulations, Way Jim. Go, Jim. And you'll get a choice of mass made by Kathy Hoyt from Kristen's Material from the gift shop area. So congratulations. That's awesome. Very yeah. good. Good question. Yep. Okay, the rest of this week, yes, let's what give we got a rundown of what we're doing. Tuesday is Trivia Game Cahoots with State Capitals. Yeah. So that one, you don't want to miss that. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's exciting. Wednesday is Banking with Cindy and Bank of Oak Ridge. So we'll have a That's couple of um, bank, bank folks here on yeah. the air, 3 o'clock. And it, there might be some... Extras to go along with that. Maybe some prizes? There might be saying? something there that I've been I doing my banking be? with Cindy for a few weeks now. <laughs> but I never get a deposit slip. I wonder if that's odd. Uh, <laughs> that's probably not good. <laughs> She's just taking it and pocketing oh, it. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Different... We have a Michelle update here. Oh, Michelle. Vernon Cashwell. We oh. thank you. Okay. Well, I'll get after Brian. Yes. Because he apparently didn't have it on the calendar. Right. So... So today is Vernon Cashwell's birthday. Happy birthday, Vernon. Sorry Better get, we out, there first Better get out there and play some Happy golf, birthday. Vernon. It's your birthday. Maybe I misread the calendar. You never know. So that could happen. Well, you're not, you know, you're not in a funny seat. So. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. So. Or you're in a funny seat. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> See, it's hard to remember It anymore. is. I'm, I'm confused. Now. I know. I'm just very But confused. Vernon Cashwell, happy birthday today, and thank you for calling in to let us know that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. There's three today. Okay. All okay. right. This is our way of building up and making it more special. Yes. Hmm. First, Vernon, we tell happy people birthday. birthday. And who else do we have a birthday today? Yeah, it was in the Encompass. It was it in the August. Encompass. Yeah, well, today's August. You were looking at September. Oh, calendar. you know what? <laughs> Wednesday probably isn't the right birthday, then. <laughs> So to disregard what I said, <laughs> do not tell Dick Klotz happy birthday. No, his is tomorrow. His is tomorrow. Okay, I give up. 
I give up. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, Brian. Why don't you just spout, <laughs> spout them out to us? Vernon Cashwell of the day. Who else is today? Uh, David Maynard. Okay. David Maynard. David Gene Kester. And Gene Kester. All right. Happy birthday to all three of them. Yes. They're today. I'm glad we're correcting this before we go off the air. This is good. Well, that's true. I hope they hadn't thrown away their cakes. Oh, no. And then Wednesday, you're right, Wednesday. I and still we're good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Lisa's so, so excited about getting to September, she didn't look at the August 31st that calendar. That must be it. That must be I'm it. I'm sure that's what it was. So, yeah. I go back. That's funny, Lisa. That's it's, really it's funny. funny. Um, so, Dick Klotz, it is your birthday Wednesday. Okay? In case you were concerned. <laughs> it really is. So, you can tell them happy birthday. It's okay. Yes. Betty Farlow, Dick Klotz, and Sarah Hawes all have birthdays on Wednesday. Woo! That was don't, the hardest. Don't cancel those birthday cake orders. I know. That, I know. that was rough. That was rough. That was the hardest birthday list we've ever had to go through. I okay. Think. So, back to banking with Cindy and Bank of Oak Ridge. <laughs> In order to be seamless. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Thursday, River Turns, we're back again. Yes, we are. Another exciting episode. <laughs> okay. And th oh, okay. And then Friday, Fun Fridays, and it's a surprise guest. Surprise. Right, Brian? Right. Surprise guest. You don't want to miss it. And guess what? They don't know who it is yet either, so they, it's definitely a surprise guest. <laughs> so be don't surprised. ask. So if you get invited to the NPR at 3 o'clock on Friday, Yeah, you are the surprise, surprise guest. <laughs> okay? It could happen. It could happen. It could happen to you. Yep. Yes. Okay. Whew. Okay. Woo. All right. You know, I don't have church signs today for the, the final kind of joke thing, but I have some funny sayings from nuns who are grading papers for... <laughs> The, uh, the students that are in their classes, and there, there's a million of them, so I just okay. picked out what I thought were some of the funnier ones here, but um, these were actually written by the school children, so um, I can only imagine, you know, some of the stuff that teachers get with, mm. with this stuff, but this one says, Lot's wife was a pillar of salt during the day, but a ball of fire during the night. <laughs> Samson was a strong man who let himself be led astray by a Jezebel like Delilah. <laughs> uh, the Egyptians were all drowned in the desert. Afterwards, Moses went up to Mount Sinai to get the Ten Commandments. <laughs> oh, and I've been told that I laugh too fast after telling the punchlines, yeah. and people have trouble hearing that, so I'm going to try not to laugh yes. until after I get say, through the last wait part. Until the yes, punchline. okay, all right. The first, commandments was, the first commandment was when Eve told Adam to eat the apple. That was the first commandment. <laughs> uh, Moses died before he ever reached Canada. Did you know that? And then Joshua led the Hebrews in the battle of Jeritol. <laughs> The greatest miracle in the Bible is when Joshua told his son to stand still, and he obeyed him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Solomon, one of David's sons, had 300 wives and 700 porcupines. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> when the three wise guys from the east side arrived, they found Jesus in the manger. The three wise guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. G uh, did you know that Jesus was born because Mary had an immaculate contraption? <laughs> uh, and did you know the epistles were the wives of the apostles? Yes. That's, yes, yes absolutely. That. And then the last one, Christians have only one spouse. This is called monotony. <laughs> I can only imagine. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, that was good. Yep. Good show today. Another good yeah. show. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, yeah. and we did it before the sand ran out. We sure did. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. A rainy yeah. Monday. I bet we had a lot more people watching today because they had nothing else better to do. Well, that's what do you probably think? true. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I hear people say that all the time. Yeah. I think I'm a watch. I don't have anything better to do. <laughs> You know, when we start, like, opening the gyms and those kinds of things, I remember oh, we won't have any we're going to start viewerships. It's going to go way down. <laughs> Shut down the show. Yeah. 
Well, as always, we want to tell you if you have jokes that you want to send our way, Absolutely. or trivia questions, or mm -hmm. questions in general, or yes. any material that yes. you think we could use on the yep. show. You know, we are very happy for new material. So. Please make sure the jokes meet our high standards. Absolutely. We have set a very high standard, yes. Ken, I think, yes. for our jokes here. So Thank uh, you. Yeah, that's, thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate that. So. <laughs> well, until Thursday, we hope you all have a great couple days, and we're looking forward to seeing you on Thursday. So God bless. We love you. Bye-bye.